Let's welcome tonight's guests. He looks like a car salesman and smells like an air freshener. Co-host of Fox and Friends First, Todd Pyro. <laughs> Don't let the accent fool ya. She's here to school ya. Co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business, Dagan McDowell. <laughs> He knows eight ways to kill a man with a paperclip, nine if it's rusty. Former CIA operative and host of the President's Daily Brief podcast, Mike Baker. And if walls could talk, her office would be in witness protection. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor, Kat Toop. All right. Well, that's about it for me. Before we get to some news stories, let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Mmm. Yeah, it's Leftovers, where I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And as always, it's my first time reading them. So if they suck, we'll staple Joe Mackey to a wall and use his head as a dartboard. <laughs> Earlier this week, the White House unveiled its 2023 holiday decorations. And while, of course, there are no stockings for President Biden's grandchildren, there is one for Joe's live-in nurse. <laughs> She's Caribbean. <laughs> Not that that matters. Meanwhile, the family does plan to still leave out cookies and milk for Santa and a woman's wig for no one in particular. <laughs> A retired health official says the Chinese government may have killed a pandemic researcher by throwing him off the Wuhan lab roof. Or as the CDC calls it, a typical COVID-related death. <laughs> Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson is blaming his city's problems on right-wing extremism. Not surprising, as it is MAGA country. <laughs> In a new interview, France's first lady opened up about dating French President Emmanuel Macron while he was her student, when he was 15 and she was 40. So take notes, kids. If your teacher wants to bang you, you too could become president. <laughs> See, they always say it's a bad thing. Well, Todd Pyro says it's a good thing, but... I say it's a bad thing. A pack of Canadian super pigs may reportedly soon cross the border into the United States. Apparently, it's payback for the ones we once sent to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> the FDA has approved an at-home test for chlamydia. Here's how it works. If you have sex with Hunter Biden, you have chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> That's really not an at-home test. All right, 90s boy band New Kids on the Block have announced they're going on a 2024 tour, although they've since changed their name to Old Guys at the Villages. <laughs> According to a new study, women have more regret, anxiety, and depressing thoughts after sex than men do, especially if they have it with the wrong person. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> a new survey says that 43% of Americans are frequently constipated. Oh Don't come back to be great. <laughs> the other 57% eat at Taco Bell. <laughs> and finally, a new study claims that prehistoric women were better at hunting than men. Wow, I didn't even know they had shoe stores back then. <laughs> 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 Now to the news. Elon leaves no doubt that he won't sell out. Yes, it's time for... It's coming your way. Hey, hey. It's video of the day. Hey, hey. Today's video of the day. It comes to us from a New York Times conference this week when Elon Musk addressed the cowardly advertisers that are leaving X, like Joy Behar, when the prune juice hits. <laughs> Watch and learn how it's done. There's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That were, this had been said online. There was all of the criticism. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go yourself. 
but go yourself. Is that fair? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Wow, he really has it in for Bob. <laughs> but which Bob? This one? <laughs> this one? It's Bob Marley. Yeah. Or this one? <laughs> of course, it was a shout out to Bob Iger, the CEO of the Disney disaster, which is one of the companies that ditched X. Elon was also given another opportunity to walk this back, but did he? How do you think then about the economics of, of X? If, 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 if part of the underlying model, at least today, and maybe it needs to shift, maybe the answer is it needs to shift away from advertising. Um, if, if you believe that this is the one part of your business where you will be beholden to those who uh, have this view, G what do you do? F Y. <laughs> G F Y. What could that stand for? <laughs> Gutfeld's frickin' yummy. <laughs> but he's got a point. How insane is it that companies are trying to blackmail the world's richest man with money? That's like extorting Jerry Nadler with salad. <laughs> Or blackmailing sports fans by threatening to cancel PBS. <laughs> the fact is, Musk may be the last man standing between real freedom of speech and the suffocating block of the censorship industrial complex, which is made up of government, media, and tech forces. He realizes that advertisers have no spine and can be easily cowed by special interest groups in cahoots with political allies. If you don't believe me, I got two words for you. Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Ooh, wow. 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 Look at that. Uh, room. All right, Todd. Uh, your mother called me this morning and asked me a favor to have you seated in the first chair. So here you are. So you have to be on good behavior. Understood. You know, you've got a thing for my mom. Yes. Ever since she was here in those seats right over there, yes. you mentioned her at every occasion. It's yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. Maybe I'm like uh, President Macron. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the funny thing is, Todd, your mom and I were talking about that very thing. Oh, oh my God. God. Leave Marianne alone. <laughs> she just had hip surgery. <laughs> I don't want to know why she had hip surgery, Baker. <laughs> because my dad's watching, too. Hello, Mr. Oh, Carroll. poor Marianne. <laughs> Mm. Where's the professor? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this has been a fight that has been going on for years. If you don't do what we say, we will kill your business. But it's not the advertisers that are doing it. It's these front, left wing front groups that are scaring these advertisers to run away. So they capitalize on the moral cowardice of advertisers. And Elon's basically saying is, OK, you do this to us. Let's see how the earth handles this, right? Yeah, and that's one of the best things about having F you money. Mm -hmm. You get to tell people <laughs> F you. That, yeah, that's exactly what this is. Yeah. And, and so it's so great for free speech. And we thought when he purchased this thing, free speech would be saved. It obviously has taken a lot of hits yeah. because they're coming after him full bore. Mm -hmm. And the Bob he mentioned, I know he's mentioning Bob Iger. What I love about that, yeah, Bob Iger may be fine when it comes to his theme park because they cost a lot of money to go to and people go to them. But mm -hmm. take a look at the latest Disney movie not doing very well. He can yep. get all the eyeballs and all the either free advertising on X or real advertising on X that he can get. Also, a lot of his TV properties utilize X to drive viewership. Mm -hmm. So before he says, ah, you know, F you uh, to, uh, to Mr. Twitter over there, Mr. X, he better realize he should wake up. And ultimately, at the end of the day, Elon Musk, I think, is making a key point here. So go Elon. Yeah, you know, uh, Dagan, he said, uh, well, let's see what Earth thinks. He's basically banking on public opinion. The fact that we are addicted to Twitter and we're addicted to X and we now use it, it's like a hive mind. He knows that this thing is going to survive no matter what. And we completely rely on it and him mm -hmm. to keep speech free. But he is also with telling the CEOs to go um, pound dirt. I'm being trying to be a lady. Yes. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, he's also playing on the petty jealousy of these CEOs. Mm -hmm. 
So Bob Iger runs a company that has told generations of young women that the only path to prosperity and happiness is getting our mitts on some himbo prince and then hanging on for dear life. That's Bob Iger's job. Yeah. David Zaslav, who runs Warner Brothers Discovery, took on $55 billion in debt to buy a company that included CNN. Mm. And so, and that Max uh, streaming porthole is a total suck hole. Yeah. So what is Elon Musk run. He runs a brand new car company that just came out with a truck. It looks like a DeLorean pickup. It looks like it was carved with lasers shooting out of his hands. <laughs> and then he also that. he also has a rocket company. What man on the planet doesn't want to own a rocket company where they can shoot penises into the sky? Mm. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see that last yeah. part coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh. but you have a point there. He also owns the Boring Company. Do you know what that is? Yeah. That, uh -huh. it, it, underground tunnels. He makes, the, it, you know, the thing is, this is what, Mike, a ri a, the richest man in the world right. should be doing, yeah. right? Yeah. And, I, I, and I just love how he, he basically in one sentence kind of humiliated them going like, you're trying to blackmail me with money. Like, yeah. do you not realize I have more money than everybody? Yeah, you know, uh, you could also make a penis joke about the boring company. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, because, you know, tunnels and... All right, like Mikey. <laughs> I put him over there because yeah. I figured yeah. he'd behave. Well, no, you put me over here. Is this the first time no, the cat and I... Next to each other. Yeah, we get to sit next to each other for the very first time. Mm. And thank you, by the way, for pointing out who Bob Marley is. That was very <laughs> helpful. I really like that. Or this Bob. That's Bob Marley. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, look, I, I agree with, with, with Dagan 100% on the fact that, that, you know, go Elon Musk, right? This is, this is what you, you count on him for because he does have the, the juice, right? It's like with uh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's the same way. He's got the money to tell people. They tried to cancel him, right? Mm -hmm. they, tried, they got all outraged over his, his COVID perspective. And the next thing you know, you've got Joni Mitchell or, or Neil Young or whomever, you know, some 120-year-old, you know, pop singer saying, I'm taking my money and going off of Spotify. And people are saying, you're still alive? You know? Yeah. And so having that level of cash, and I speak also from experience. I, yeah. I'm the same way. Really? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, the the money, money that I sit on mm -hmm. daily, it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yes. It, it's crazy. And when advertisers yeah. threaten to leave you, Mike, you just have them disappear. I just fly another penis right into space. <laughs> right? That's what I do with myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? All right, Kat, imagine you run the Cat Network or the Cat social platform. Would you, uh, how would you deal with advertisers trying to pressure you on content? Would you listen to them or would you listen to the users? Well, here's the thing. This is why I don't understand when people say money can't buy happiness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you not know how happy it makes you feel to tell someone to go themselves yeah <laughs> it's one of the best feelings in the whole entire world yeah <laughs> and, and I think that for him he has no choice because he bought this platform because he wanted to stand against that so yeah. he I don't know how he would be able to deal with it even if he didn't have all the money that he has but also I think one of the issues with Elon is what he puts himself out there a lot he likes to just sit on Twitter and just tweet stuff that comes into his head mm -hmm. so I think that's part of the reason people are so upset by him, because if there were other CEOs of things doing that, mm -hmm. I think that we might find that not all of their thoughts were acceptable, according mm -hmm. to people who think of things that sort of way. You know, the thing is, there's, there's a, a really good thing that's happening and a sad thing. The good thing is, is that he took the toy out of the left's hands. Mm -hmm. Right, they could use Twitter pre-Elon to cancel anybody out, and then when he added community notes, now, you, you know, a, a rumor can't amplify like it did with Covington, and instead it implodes because the community notes comes out and hits it. But the sad thing about it is we're beginning to realize that the only people with real freedom of speech are people with billions of dollars. What about the rest of us? And that was my point, is that, like, you know, if you, if you are beholden to advertisers, you could be gone. Yeah, I take market risk every time I open my mouth. That is true. <laughs> we all do when you open yeah. your mouth. <laughs> oh, that means you think I'm an integral part of the show. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. Is that what I said? 
That's what, See that's what how I mean? I'm taking it. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.